well, we wanted to look at this trend of millennial home buying through the lens of a few different neighborhoods. And um, we want to kick it off with West Town. Now, we've all been reading the headlines. Home buyers are looking for single family homes, not condos. Home buyers are looking to move to the suburbs. They don't want to be in the city. But in West Town, which includes Ukrainian Village, Wicker Park, River West, and Noble Square, you're actually seeing an increase in condominium sales. Condo sales are up about eight and a half percent year over year. So Grace, what gives? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked about this because I feel right now the headlines are all about, you know, the suburbs and, and downtown, but West Town has been a little bit overlooked and there's big news here. So with an increase in condo purchases, I think that's a reflection of millennials. I want to read you some numbers here. So for millennials who have been leasing, I think they're noticing that for $2,400 a month, if they're comfortable with that payment and credit, they would qualify for a $500,000 home, you follow? And now for a $3,400 a month rental payment, if they're comfortable with that and they have good credit, they're qualifying for a $700,000 home. So I think right there, that's our explanation for the increase in condo sales in markets like West Town. Um, because it's a really happy medium, right? They're getting a little bit more space, but they're still close to transportation, bars, nightlife, all of that. So that's really exciting. Sure. So basically for the, you know, for the amount of rent that you would pay on a really nice one bedroom apartment, you could buy a two bedroom condo for the amount of rent that you would pay on a really nice two bedroom apartment. You could afford a three bedroom condo or perhaps even a, a small single family home. Yes, absolutely. And at the end of the day, then you haven't been throwing your rent out the window, paying somebody else's mortgage. On top of all of this, you've also built equity into your home as well. So with interest rates being what they are, anybody who's renting right now, if you're watching this, this is such a great time to buy. So I can't stress that enough. I think one of the things attributing also to West Town condo sales booming is that there's less of a focus on the Gold Coast and River North in condos. And so when people are buying, they like the uh, lack of density. They like the benefits of commercial and transportation without being having so many people on top of each other. Okay, well, so, so condo sales are up in West Town, um, you know, which seems a little counterintuitive, uh, but also single family home sales happen to be down. And, you know, again, we look at the headlines and we see that everybody wants to buy single family homes. So what's going on with, with, single family homes in West Town, is it an inventory thing or is it, a, is it a buyer preference thing or what's happening there? Mike? You know, I think it's very, very difficult to look at things in such a kind of micro moment in time. I think you have to look at the, the market a little bit more broadly. Um, and then you have to then really have a nuanced understanding of, of the micro market that you're looking in. You have to look at pricing, demand, uh, and not what's going on over the course of one month or two months, but what the general trends are. And, you know, not that we want to make this a commercial for working with a real estate broker, but the reality is you need a consultant. You need someone who can help you understand the data and really understand what the true trends are as opposed to what you're necessarily reading um, in a headline because we'll see two headlines that completely contradict themselves in, in two days in the news lately about the real estate world. So it is really important to, I think, have some help kind of rooting through the data and understanding what's going on.